Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Turning Point with Femi Emmanuel. Welcome to TPGF, Turning Point Global Family Daily Devotional Prayer and Prophetic Culture. Wake up to this altar daily before you do any other thing. God is behind our sleeping at night and waking up in the morning. Let it be your mantra as long as you live that the first thing as you wake up is to have a quiet time with God. After receiving and meditating with Turning Point Audio, turn to Turning Point Booklet to read the short Bible study for the day and also pray the prayer there as well. Subscribe to it. Follow the guideline on reading the entire Bible through systematically in a year. Listening to the audio as well as reading the booklet, it will enhance your spirituality. For subscription and subscription renewal, chat with Debbie on plus two three four eight zero double five one double zero five one zero. Do so today if you are just hearing this. Welcome also to Saturday, the fifth day in October 2024. The fifth day is grace. God's unusual grace is on you this day. Please open your hand and heart to receive what God has sent our way and be responding with Amen. I receive it. We are saved by grace, sanctified by grace, and sustained by grace. May God's unusual grace back you up in all you do. Grace is an acronym of God's recompense at Christ's expense. May God, for Christ's sake, forgive your sins and your shortcomings. Renew your strength and make you worthy of his divine blessings. In Malachi chapter 3 verse 10, God said, Prove ye me now, if I will not open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing. In First Kings 13 verse 17, Elisha said to King Joash, Open the window eastward, pull your arrow and shoot your bow. Wow! Open windows. Let's take this prophetic action today. As God is dropping it into my spirit, walk up to the window in your room, in your kitchen, in your office, wherever you are. Pull the curtain and open the window. Look out and look up. Look to the sky. Then make this following declaration. As you look out and look into the atmosphere, say, my heavens open. Showers of blessing come on me in abundance. My heavens shall not be shut. I speak to the atmosphere. Walk in my favor. Obey my command. Release my blessings. As the east wind brought quails to the children of Israel, I command the wind from the four corners of the earth. Bring my quails. Bring my blessings. Wind blow in my favor. Sun shine for my blessing. Rain and snow fall for my refreshing. Nature shall not walk against me. You shall walk in my favor. My heavens are opened, never to be shut again. It is so in Jesus' name. Say amen. Right? Close the window and pull the curtain. Many things are being rearranged in your favor in answer to your prayers now. Get ready to share testimonies here. Amen. October 5 celebrant. Your bad day prayers. The Lord bless your new age and bless your bad day. You shall mark October 5 yearly in peace, in power, in progress and in prosperity. In Jesus' name. Happy bad day. Listeners, get your communion element ready. We shall climax to this ministration by taking communion. Listen to testimonies. Be connecting to them if they are the things you need. God has answered them. We also answered you. Good morning, my wonderful DPDF family. I want to testify to the goodness of God on this altar of grace. I joined this wonderful family since 2020. Ever since then, my life has changed for good. Thank you so much, my wonderful father, Daddy Femi Manuel. May the oil of God on you never run dry. Amen. Everybody is saying, since I joined, since I joined. Please be reprocasting to others and call them to join. They too will have same testimony. Another testifier. I give glory to God for healing me from the symptoms of paralysis and insomnia during the healing prayer week. I thank God for strength I, that in my weak part, my weak part of my body that has been strengthened now. Wow, the one week of prayer ministration. 
is working wonders. Another one, what God cannot do does not exist. I want to thank God for my healings in the month of September. It can only be God. I thank God for answers to my prayers over my children. Thank you, Jesus. God gave my son and my daughter new job in the month of September. I want to thank God for his kindness and faithfulness to me and my family. It is September to remember for me and my family. More anointing, sir. September to remember. We are now in October to remember. Another testifier. On Wednesday, 2nd October, I was looking for some document, important document, kept in my custody, in my place of work, which made me feel so frustrated. When I got back home, I prayed and keyed into the anointing of lost and found on this commission. Behold, the next day, the Lord made me find the document in a file without stress. I am glad to be a member of TPGF. Wow! Anointing for lost and found is great on this commission. So to it. Connect to it. You will find what you are looking for. I give God all the glory for His grace upon my business. I have been praying to God to equip my crutch and last month indoor and outdoor play equipment that we will have caught me millions with some thousands of naira. God bought it for me miraculously. Hallelujah. Daddy pray that I conceive and bring forth my own biological children. Consider it done. Another testifier. Good afternoon, Daddy Femi Manuel and my TPGF family. Yesterday being 2nd October, Daddy said we should raise our phones for a lot upon a lot. I kid into it by faith. I receive an alert from my brother-in-law. Tide has been sent to the commission's account, and I want to appreciate Almighty Jehovah, God, for the life of our daddy. Wow. I also appreciate God for the life of all TPGF members worldwide. Somebody said, Daddy said, we should write five things we want God to do for us before the end of September. I have come to return all glory to God because one has been fulfilled indeed before the end of September. And I'm thanking God ahead for the other ones, which I believe shall be fulfilled this week. I also receive good news from my daughter as prophesied by Daddy. Thank you, Jesus, and thank you, Daddy, for all your prayers. I've asked God to just let us be thanking Jesus. Stop thanking Daddy. Daddy did not do it. God did it. Another one. Good morning, Pastor, and uh, for your prayers and your teaching. I want to thank God for using your prayers to bless me. God has been providing for my family needs, especially this tough time. I was worried on how we we're going to get school fees for our children. But you kept saying that the Lord says, don't be afraid. I believe your declaration. And truly, God used help us to bless us and our children had gone back to school. I praise God. Please share my testimony to encourage others and to worship our God and shame to the devil. Wow. None of you listening to me will ever know shame in life. Another testifier. I want to thank God Almighty for the gift of life for myself and my family. Yesterday night, I couldn't sleep. It was as if I was attacked by some forces that want to kill me. I just took my mantle and placed it on my head. I slept off like a baby. I thank God because I see the hand of God anytime I go to the prayer mountain. Glory be to God for using you for us. And thank you, Daddy, for all your prayers for us. God will continue to bless and uphold you. Another testifier. Our Lord has done it again. I just realized that the severe waist pain I used to have for over a decade had just disappeared. Thank you, Lord, for the healing. I pray the healing will remain permanent. Second testimony. On Sunday, 8th of September, Daddy prayed with John chapter 6, verse 12. He prayed about what we have lost that shall be restored. That same day, my brother found my mother's passport that had delayed her traveling. Thirdly, I received a call from my agency on Wednesday, 2nd October, extending my contract. To God be all the glory. Wow, things are happening here. Good morning, TPGF. This is our God, Nababao. My phone started working fine after I wrapped it with the mantle overnight. 
Who say God no day? Ah, God day oh. Another one. Glory be to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Daddy Femi Emmanuel, for becoming our spiritual father. I came into the testimony of the prophetic instruction to put our aching back against the wall. I did it on Tuesday, and behold, an excruciating waste pain that has been paining me for over a year now just disappeared. Wow! This God now, Baba, please rebroadcast it to all on your contact. Do so daily. Month has ended. So, if you're a monthly title, personal and corporate titan, do so. Then the battle, the thanksgiving, the partnership commitment seed, and the seed of 10, 10, 10, we are sowing this month. Do so. People are doing it and testimonies are coming. As many things as God gives you the grace and the faith. 110,000 naira, 10 naira, 50,000 naira, 10 naira, 30,000, 20,000, 10,000, 5,000, 2,000, and 10 naira. As many 10, 10 as you can add. Don't do it at the lowest. Do it at the highest capacity that you can do. All our listeners in diaspora, all over the world. Use our PayPal account. Our PayPal account is still active. It is still our account. All those sowing their seed and paying their tithe in dollars, in euros, in Canadian dollars, and in all other currencies. Our PayPal is there. For UK brethren, UK listeners, are the only one we recommended to the HSBC account direct in Pan Stalin. All the other donors and titers and sisters use the PayPal account. It is still our own. It is valid. For uh, information of the commission's account, send a chat message or please send me the commission's account to plus two three four eight zero nine seven eight nine four thousand. And for the HSBC account, send a chat to zero seven four one 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 two eight four zero one. I call on all ministers in the fivefold ministries in Nigeria and all over the world. It shall be live streamed. Our quarterly national ministers conference is counting down. Wednesday, October 16, at Goshen Land, uh, Allen Avenue, Ikeja, Lagos. For all ministers of God coming from Ogun State, the coastal buses provided, we take off from Abel Kota. You need to book a seat. To book a seat, send an SMS or a chat to 0802-779-6376. All ministers of God from your state, Ibadan. We have also provided air conditioner, coastal buses for you to bring you to a Kaja Lagos and back on that day. But you need to book a seat. Send a chat or SMS to book your seat to 0806-928-6662. All ministers of God from Lagos, for more information, send an SMS, a chat or a call to 090-555-14460. Do so now. Your seat will be reserved. It will be great on Wednesday, October 16. Ministering along with me in October 16 is the General Overseers of First Quad Gospel Church, Reverend Sam Aboyeji, a father of God in faith, a father in faith in the land. So it's going to be powerful and explosive. Come, iron sharpens iron. I speak to everyone's lives today. You will see the power of God, raw power of God in action and in your favor. What God cannot do does not exist. For God can do all things. God sent me because of you. Heaven will not rest until you are truly blessed and fulfilled. I'm Femi Emmanuel. I love you. Have a great day.